Christmas is a season of joy and glory. But for Mary and Joseph, the journey began with surprise, danger, and uncertainty. It took them from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem, to the darkness of a stable and the wonder of a miraculous birth. On the hills nearby, shepherds fell in terrified awe at the angelic announcement that a savior had been born for them. And so began their late night journey to find him. Like the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph.
wise men observed a sign from heaven. A new star signaled that something momentous had taken place. Bringing precious gifts, they journeyed to find him. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we travel so far Hill and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star Born a king on Methodist plain Gold I bring to crown him again King forever ceasing never Says to offer have I incense owns a deity nigh. Her is mine, is bitter perfume, breathes a life of gathering gloom. For is now the him arise, King and God and sacrifice. Hallelujah. transported back through the centuries to the incredible events that took place so that one day we could know Emmanuel, God with us. of Jesus has been retold for over 2,000 years. 
We picture the poor carpenter Joseph and his virgin bride, the inn that had no room, the baby sleeping in a feeding trough. And though we're certain that the father had planned every moment, we look with wonder and say, how strange that God's only begotten son would come the way he did. I'm sure it must have been surprise at where this road had taken him. Cause never in a million lives would he have dreamed of Bethlehem. And standing at the manger, he saw with his own eyes a message from the angel come to life And Joseph said, why me? I'm just a simple man of trade Why him with all the rulers in the world? Why him? Like the stable filled with hay Why her, she just an ordinary girl No, I'm not one to second guess What angels have to say But this is such a strange way To save the world Think of how it could have been If Jesus had come as he deserved There would have been no Bethlehem No lowly shepherds at his birth But Joseph knew the reason why The Savior in his arms, he must have said, why me? I'm just a sinful man of truth. Why her with all the rulers in the world? Why here inside the stable filled with I heard just an ordinary girl. Now I'm not one to second guess what angels have to say. But this is such a strange way to save the world. I'm not one to second guess what angels have to say, but this is such a strange way, such a strange way, oh, a strange way to save the world. When the shepherds rushed into Bethlehem that night, what did they expect to find? Could they have imagined the Prince of Heaven in such a place? Still they knew enough to fall in worship at the sight of the baby who was Christ the Lord. This, this is Christ the King, whom shepherds guard and angels sing. Praise, praise to bring Him God, the babe, the Son of Mary. What child is this who 
nativity scene has the familiar figures, Mary, Joseph, shepherds and kings, camels and cows and sheep, and of course the baby lying in the manger. As we put each one in place, we're struck again at the thought, it's the greatest story in the world, and it's all true. A word to grant for any mind to hold. A tax law and a journey, a stable and some scroll. These tell the greatest story ever told. Oh, sing in the sleepy little town of Bethlehem was only the beginning of the Savior's amazing story. He would be worshipped and hunted, received and rejected, loved and hated, celebrated and betrayed. One day, he would be abandoned, arrested, beaten and crucified. But the greatest miracle of all is how far he would go to redeem us. Perfect grace and sight. 
going out today with the good news of his coming. Let's join with the angels in singing that there's great joy for all people. A Savior has been born in Bethlehem. He is the Messiah, our Lord. Oh, still the greatest story ever told. Amen. Every Christmas, Amen. it never gets old. It's always exciting. It's a, it's a beautiful time of year, not just because of the decorations and all the activity, but because of the meaning behind it. Each of the Gospels present the Savior in a different light. We find in Matthew, he's the Messiah. He's the King. In Mark, he's the divine servant. You find a lot of different miracles in Mark. 
In Luke, he's the son of man. In John, he's the son of God. Luke paints us for us a human aspect of the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, as in very vivid detail because he was a physician. He was a, a doctor. And he, he, he explains in great detail. And he talks about his divine nature. He was completely different from us, and yet he was still human. And because of that, the Bible says in Hebrews 4.15, we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with our infirmities, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. And because he knows our frame, the Bible says, he knows that we're but dust. He came to this earth uh, so that he might be our savior, that he might identify with us. We see three things quickly. First of all, we see his pedigree when he was born. He was born of the house and the lineage of David. He had a pedigree, and yet he, he came as a lowly, uh, in a lowly birth. We find in Luke chapter 1, the angel announced, it says, He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God shall give him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there'll be no end. Amen. And by the way, one of these days, the Lord will reign and rule from the town of Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. The capital of Israel. And uh, just, just for uh, 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 some information there, amen. <laughs> Bethlehem, uh, he was born in Bethlehem, and it means the house of bread. And Jesus said these words. He says, I'm the bread of life. Him that comes to me shall never hunger. It's also a place of water. Remember when David uh, was out and fighting a battle, and he, 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 he had this longing. He says, oh, that I could just get a drink from the water of the well in Bethlehem. And one of his faithful soldiers came and brought him a drink of water. And he poured it out as a drink offering uh, to the Lord. We see the Lord's pedigree in his birth. We also see his presence. Remember, he came to this earth to dwell with us to be with us, and that means so much that God wants to be with us. You know, we, we think about how we can be close to the Lord, but think about this for a moment. God desires to be close to us. He desires that, and, and because of that, he came to this earth. Uh, Jesus is called Mary's firstborn son. That implies that, that Mary had other sons. But what was so different about the firstborn son? Galatians 4.4 4 gives a great uh, statement here. But it says, when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law, that he might redeem those who were under the law. And then John 1.14 says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And then when Jesus ascended to heaven, he promised that his presence would still remain with us, that the Comforter would come. And then we see also not only his pedigree, his presence, we see in Christmas his purpose. Not only we find that uh, uh, he had uh, the fact that he, he came to us, but notice what he said. He said, fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, meaning all people, amen? And for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. The word Savior means deliverer. He's the one that will rescue us. And the angel came to the shepherds who were in those days the lowest of the low. And yet, uh, he, he gave to them uh, the announcement first. And so we asked, uh, and then it says that we good tidings to all people. And then why did he come? He came to be our Savior. Not just to be born in a manger. Not just so that we might be able to sing songs about Christmas time. But uh, he came uh, that he might be our Savior. In Luke chapter 4, in verse 18, as the Lord began his ministry, his earthly ministry, he said these words, quoting the book of Isaiah. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, 
and recovering of sight to the blind, and to set at liberty them that are bruised. And not only does Luke teach us that Jesus came to be the Savior, but he also teaches us that man needs a Savior. The greatest need that we have, a lot of people have a lot of needs. And we can appreciate that, we can try to fulfill that. We've got a dear lady here that, that runs the Helping Hands over in Leesville. And, and listen, we, we can try to meet the needs of people, but the greatest need that anyone has is a need of a savior, yes, uh, of their sins being forgiven. Yes. And that's what the message is all about. Uh, we give a lot at Christmas time, and that's a good thing to do. But the best thing we can give is the message of God's forgiveness. Would you stand with us this morning? Stand with us. And we love the Lord, but we appreciate the fact that God came to this earth to be our savior. What number are we going to say? Yeah. Yeah, 275. 275. 275. I surrender all as we sing to him. Mm -hmm. All to Jesus, I surrender. All to him, I freely surrender. As we sing to him, <laughs> you've got to put in your heart. time pouring over the music and we've got a little gift that we want to give her the choir members did we appreciate you so very very much amen Good gift to catch all. we appreciate so much everyone just kind of joins in and helps out you notice some people left they're going back there to make sure we got some uh, the food <laughs> Right and Brother Cliff, can I thank somebody else? Another group, and that's the sound system, oh, the sound guys. Yeah. Without them, we couldn't do it. You just don't know. <laughs> We've been praying for the sound of Booth, and they've been laying hands on it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So we we'll are praying it through this time, and, and uh, probably going to end up buying another whole system, but that's, that's another show. All right. God bless you. Uh, you come and uh, stay with us, eat with us uh, back there. We, we've got plenty, plenty to eat. I think there's ham and, and uh, all kinds of food back there. And uh, so uh, we're looking forward to that. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, let's, anything else before we just leave? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask Ed. You did such a great job. Linda. Would you pray for us at this time and ask a blessing upon the food as well? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for all that you've given us. And thank you for our choir that uh, did their job well. And bless this place and bless the people that prepared the food for us today. And bless their hands that they've done so well. And keep us with thee for all you say. Amen. 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 Oh, right.
Yes, you did. Yes.